Yo, today we are in for a treat. We're gonna be opening up the brand new Pokemon Crown Zenith Morpeko V Union Playmat Collection box. And not just that, we're also opening up an extra box today. We got the Hisuian Zorark V Star box. One of my favorite decks to play at the moment. It's actually kind of like an anti meta rogue deck pick. So I'll have a uh, tournament vlog. Oh, actually, I already have a tournament vlog of this deck on the channel, but I'll have a deck profile very soon for Hisuian Zorark. So if you wanna play that deck, you can steal my list. The first box here is the main attraction of today's video, the Marpeco V Union box. Now this box has a bunch of stuff inside. I'll show you guys the box up close and personal, and then we'll also read the back because this is one of the last few Crown Zenith boxes we're gonna see released for quite some time until the Zacian and Zamazenta shiny ones come out. So here is a look at the box in hand. You got four booster packs in total. You got the Morpeko V Union card. I think this is the like third or second Morpeko V Union card. Here's a look at the back of the box and what it says as well. We got the Morpeko V Union Premium Playmat Collection. Marty and Morpeko unite with Morpeko V Union. In sync with its trainer Marty and cheered on by Team Yell, Morpeko dashes into battle as a shockingly powerful Pokemon V Union. With the promo cards in this premium set, you'll have all the pieces needed to assemble Morpeko V Union and put its four attacks into action. Now they also released a couple of other Crown Zenith Pokemon card pin collections the same day this box came out, the Rillaboom, the Cinderace, and the Inteleon. So we just uploaded that video. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave it linked down below. But without further ado, let's crack this box open. Marnie is one of my favorite characters from the Sword and Shield universe. And Morpeko, I love Morpeko as well. I have a Morpeko pin I wear pretty frequently. And uh, yeah, Marnie and Morpeko, oh, woo! -hoo! The playmat just fell out. Here's a look at the general packaging when you get it. So you get all this goodness right here, but the playmat was actually like just chilling underneath. So we're gonna get to the playmat right now. Here is a look at the playmat and it is gorgeous. It is a really cool playmat. This mat looks really cool. The colors on it really pop. It has this like neon lights with the yellow and the pink. You got a shot of Morpeko, mean muggin, looking like he's about to beat you up and take your uh, take your yen. <laughs> and then you got Marnie, who also doesn't look as intimidating as Morpeko, but they look cool together and it's just really nice. I definitely see myself using this playmat an absolute ton uh, just because I love Marnie, I love Morpeko, and the colors again, the colors really, really pop. So if you're looking to use a playmat, which you probably want to if you play the game, uh, then this is for you. But if you don't play the game, you can definitely use these as like a mouse pad because it's the exact same material. Ooh, I thought it was five packs for some reason. That actually makes me feel a bit, or four packs for some reason. That makes me feel a bit better. We got five packs. Next up, here's a look at the Jumbo Morpeko V Union card. It is a beefy, beefy card, 310 HP, and you can honestly call this like a trainer gallery rare for the Morpeko because you got Marnie in the background there as well uh, throwing Morpeko into the battlefield. And it goes really well with the uh, the color scheme of the playmat. So if you were to use this deck with the playmat, it's just gonna look really, really cool. Maybe we do that for an upcoming tournament. Now, if you don't know, for every V Union Pokemon card collection box, they include two cards. One, a code card. So you can, of course, use the cards in the online game, which I highly recommend. But you also get one supporter card right Right here which is Professor Burnett a promo now there is like a trainer gallery full art version of this I believe in Silver Tempest I think and it's a pretty important card to have if you're gonna play this deck uh, because it allows you to discard two cards from your deck and that's it two cards from your deck but the thing is to play a V Union card if you don't know all four of the cards have to be in your discard pile here's a look at the top left corner of Morpeko V Union we have the attack Union Gain which is an attack that's on all of the uh, the V Union Pokemon it's just one colorless. It allows you to attach up to two electric energy cards from your discard pile to this Morpeko V Union Pokemon. Next up, we have the attack All You Can Eat. And oh man, I miss going to Mandarin for those snow crab legs, all you can eat buffets. I should go again soon. I don't know when the snow crab leg season is. But anyways, it costs two colorless energies to use this attack and it has the effect draw cards until you have 10 cards in your hand, which is an absolutely absurd attack. The burst wheel attack with the Morpeko's face right there. 
Burst wheels for one electric energy and two colorless 100 damage times. It says, discard all energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 100 damage for each card you discarded in this way. So that is 300 damage if it's three regular energies, or I believe 280 if it's one electric and one double colorless energy, like a turbo, uh, the turbo energy. That's actually a really strong attack. 280, you can 1-8 KO uh, a lot of stuff, like any V-Stars, it's pretty much uh, gonna get 1-8 KO'd right there. Last but not least, we have the attack Electric Ball for one electric energy and two colorless it has 160 damage so a little bit underwhelming there the main attack you're gonna want to use here is the burst wheel attack here's some footage of all four of the cards laid out on my desk so you guys can see how it looks like if you play this card on the uh, the more Peko V Union playmat collection playmat and then here's a look at the jumbo card side by side so right now the most competitive V Union Pokemon cards in the game are the uh, the Mewtwo V Union cards and you would pair that with a Gardevoir usually. And so Marpeko V Union's probably not gonna see too much play, but if you guys do wanna see some fun tournament vlog content where I use this Marpeko V Union deck, hit that like button down below. And if we can get 100 likes, I'll use the Marpeko V Union deck in the very next Pokemon card tournament. And I'll leave a link down below if it happens because that way you can just click and binge watch that video right after. We got the five packs of Crown Zenith to get into. So here we go, let's do this thing. And again, last week, Weekend, we just hit 20,000 subscribers on the channel. So a huge thank you to you if you're part of the 20,000 very, very good looking and attractive subscribers on this channel. I really, really appreciate you. We're on our way now to 30K. That is the next subscriber goal. And the goal today too is to pull some heat. Pull, pull, pull some heat because the last video was a rough one. All right, we got Salandit. We got Purloin, Zamazenta, one of the best cards from Crown Zenith for competitive play. Oh, nice, and a Zeraora VMAX. Very, very cool card. Now we are still on the hunt for that Crown Zenith, uh, that like Galarian Gallery Zeraora VMAX with the Pashirisu sleeping on its head. That is a card I'm trying to hunt down for my girlfriend. But uh, for now, we have the regular VMAX right here, which is a solid pull. Also, we're gonna get to the live streams again very, very soon. So if you guys wanna never miss a live stream where we play the game competitively online, we also play against subscribers like you uh, on the channel then make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. All right, we got Luxio, Shinx. Are we gonna get a Luxray to complete the evolutionary line? We got Seal, Potion, ooh, a Duskull, not too shabby, and a Volcanion Hollow Rare. I'm excited to get open that Hisuian Zorak box as well, because the main reason I bought it was I wanted to, uh, get another one of the full arts because the Hasuian Zorark V full art is so, so nice. But also, I uh, I know that just opening up this one box by itself is probably not going to be a long enough of a video. So we we're like, yo, let's just let's just open up one more box for fun, you know? And I'm going to use the cards anyways. And the, the pack selection is actually really good in the Hasuian Zorark V-Star box. So, whoa, talking about Hasuian Pokemon. We got the Hasuian Samurai V from the Galarian Gallery. This is essentially like one of the alt arts, you could say. The V-Star looks incredible, I believe. And a Ditto, hey. It's not a Ditto that we can peel, but hey, Ditto is a Ditto, and we love Ditto on the channel. There we go, another nice double banger. This card right here, wow. The Hasuian Samurai V looks amazing. This looks like it could be like an oil painting, you know? Like put this in a frame, man. This is some beautiful, beautiful art. Wow, and the Ditto, the Ditto, the ditto just looks goofy. Bruh. It looks like it's gonna absorb you like it's Majin Buu from Dragon Ball, man. <laughs> it, looks, it looks so goofy. We got two more packs remaining. And so far, this is a hot streak. Are more Peko V Union boxes like stacked with incredible pulls? Only one way to find out. We gotta open up these next two packs. And here we go. We have a Grass Energy, Energy Switch, Krokorok, Lunatone, a Ponyard, Cricketot, Shinx, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Sunkern with Reverse Hollow Alexio plus a Rotom V-Star. Another V-Star Pokemon that just showed up a little too late. Just like your boy Zacian V-Star, Rotom V-Star was shafted, or Rotom was shafted, because they decided to wait so long to release it in Crown Zenith, in comparison to the Japanese release schedule, where basically they got to play with Zacian V-Star for like a year, while we only got to play with Zacian V-Star for a couple of months. 
because the deck is just not good anymore. All right, we got last pack magic for the Marpeko V Union Playmat Collection, and then we're gonna get to the Hasuian uh, Zorark V Star Box up next. All right, we got Coughing, we got Salandits, we got Purloin, Reverse Hollow, not Reverse Hollow, we got the Bidoof. Hey, this is good. We're gonna put this in my deck. We got Bidoof from the Galarian Gallery. Very, very beautiful card. And a double non hollow. But yo, this is a cutie pie. Gotta love pulling this Bidoof, man. And this Bidoof is actually very, 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 very playable. So uh, it's gonna make its way over to some of my decks. All right, next up we have the Hisuian Zorark V-Star box up next. One of my favorite decks to play at the moment. You could say it's like my pet deck. The deck I'm working on that isn't necessarily uh, seen as a super competitive deck, but boy oh boy, is it fun to play. And you get to play with some of my favorite cards too, like Gengar, uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. So here's a look at the, uh, the overall packaging. We got the Jumbo Hasuian Zorak V-Star. We got a couple other goodies and a bunch of packs too, including Evolving Sky. Each box comes with a V-Star marker. We also have the Hasuian Zorark pin right here. Pretty cool pin. I love the fact that it's like multi-leveled, which is not something you see too often out of a lot of the Pokemon pins. We got the Jumbo Hasuian Zorark V-Star card here too. Looks really, really cool. Here's a look at the Hasuian Zorark coin. And fun fact, this is the, uh, the promo version for the Hisuian Zorark V-Star. You can only obtain this art from buying the box, but while we were in Japan, I actually pulled a Hisuian Zorark V-Star from the set there, and uh, this is the art that you can pull from the actual set. So they took this art and they made it a promo in the English game. So Hisuian Zorark V-Star has 270 HP, and the attack it has is called Ticking Curse, and I often call it Tickling Curse when they play in real life. Uh, it does 50 damage for each, uh, each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So you can do up to 300 damage with just a cost of one double turbo energy. Of course you minus 20, so it hits for 280, but that's enough to knock out all the V-Star Pokemon out there. And then you also have the V-Star Power Phantom Star, which says during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw seven cards. So it's basically a professor's research if you uh, are familiar with the supporter card, but it's the V-Star ability. So not only do you get the V-Star card included with this set, but you also get the full art version of Hasuian Zorark V. You can't tell me that this isn't one of the best full art v pokemon in the game like look at that that is such a sick looking card i love it i love it i love it and of course you get a code card right here which will give you both of the hasuian v and the v star in the online game chilling rain astral radiance fusion strike lost origin lost origin again and evolving sky so we're going to open it up in that order hopefully pull some heat and of course if you guys want to buy any sealed pokemon cards at all check over the friends at mantatrading.com and uh you guys can use code sneaker talk tcg to save five ooh five percent off i don't know why i had the burp there you'll do yourself a favor save some money you'll also support the channel as well and you'll also support my favorite local game shop as well all right we got peonia Golette, a deerling, Sneasel, a Galarian Farfetch with this giant, uh, I don't know what vegetable that is, Furfro, Snowrunt, and a Obama Snow. Obama Snow. All right, next up we got Astral Radiance. Can we pull some golden heat like Palkia or Dialga? One, two, three, four. Well, let's do this thing. We got the Fire Energy. Hisuian Heavy Ball, take that out of your bulk. We got Dark Patch, Eevee, beautiful art. This Eevee is phenomenal. We got Heracross. Does Heracross have an ev evolution? I don't think so. Teddy Ursa, Hisuian Voltorb. Ooh, very nice. One of the, not one of the best, the best Radiant Pokemon of all time. Radiant Greninja, followed by... Oh, <gasps> nice, a Beedrill V, yo. That is an awesome double banger of a pack. Wow, let's freaking go. Full Art Beedrill V. That looks really cool too. That almost looks as good as Hisui and Zorark. Not even gonna lie. Fusion Strike up next. Let's do this thing. One, two, three, four. Of course, if you missed it, you already know. We uh, we have the Fusion Strike God Box. A real, a real God Box. So if you wanna see that, check it out later. But it's probably one of the best videos on the channel. You wanna, you wanna see that. Totodile. Bonary, a Clabapus, Clabapus, 
Voltorb, and a Gengar V. Yo, let's go. I love Gengar. This box has been great so far. Wow. Two packs of Lost Origin up next. And uh, this is the set where Sui and Zorak came from, I believe, originally. So let's see if we can pull a golden one. I already used one of the gold ones in my deck. A second one would be kind of sick, though. Not going to lie. All right, we got Toolbox, Komala, Colrus Experiment. Also, Giratina would be amazing to pull as well. All right, we got Seedots, Tynamo, Wurmple. Shop it with its tongue out, looking like a slow bro, I think. Gift Energy, and... Ugh, Stone Journer. All right, one more pack of Lost Origin to go, and then we're gonna wrap it up with some Evolving Skies. And I never asked you guys the common question of the day yet. One, two, three, four. So the common question of the day is what is one goal you have set for yourself this week? Let me know. What's one goal you guys have set for yourself personally? It doesn't have to be Pokemon related, but I wanna know what kind of stuff are you guys trying to get done? And uh, when we do a live stream, I'll check in on you with the goals. Cause I like to remember certain things about certain people. So if I see your username, I'll probably remember your goal. All right, we got Jinx. We got Hasui and Arcanine and Oh, 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 wait, Magnazone V Full Art. Yo, this box is loaded. Two Full Arts in one box like this is unheard of. We're getting some crazy, crazy pulls. Oh my gosh, and this is another banger. Last pack magic for the video. Of course, hit that like button down below. If we hit 100, I'll use more Peko V Union in an upcoming tournament vlog. And I have an upcoming tournament vlog releasing tomorrow, uh, the same day that I bought this, this box. So here we go. Last pack, magic, we have a uh, grass energy, and uh, what I meant was the vlog where I bought these exact products, because that was last Friday. All right, we got Swablu, we got Dot, we got Woobat, we got Eevee with the Rayquaza in the background, a Time Pole wearing some, it always looks like it's wearing headphones, Boost Shake, and a Flapple. Thanks for watching, have an awesome week, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.